Good morning everybody, this is Noel McCaffrey from Exwell and you're really welcome to this Exwell class which we're calling a gentle class. So this one is aimed at people who are not terribly fit necessarily, who may be struggling with their health a bit and are struggling with some mobility issues and maybe not confident to do a full vigorous class. Now as with the standard class I really hope I'm speaking with some of our old friends from the XL classes because everybody in the XL team really misses you greatly and as you know those classes were so special they were built around a sense of unity and purpose and happiness and support and shared effort and improvement and I do think that no more than ourselves a lot of you are missing that and may feel that you're maybe losing the gains that you got while in the class. Now, separately, there is the issue about the virus and whether or not being fit and active protects you from getting the virus or helps you to fight it if you do get it. And I think the general medical opinion is that that is the case, that people who are regularly active at a recreational level, not elite athletes, are less likely to get viral illnesses in general and are better able to fight them if they do get them. And while that's not yet proven to be the case with COVID, it is at least plausible and likely to be the case. And of course, the other point is that um, if you're stuck at home all day, it's really nice to have a routine to build the day around things that you enjoy doing and that you can look forward to. And exercise should be one of those. And it's quite possible to have a very, very healthy, impactful and enjoyable exercise workout at home. So this class um, will be built around the usual things that you're familiar with, a warm up, a strength component, a, an aerobics bit, uh, a balance and core stability element, and then a cool down. Now the important thing to remember, as always, is you can always bring a chair out and stand beside it and hold on to it if you need to. You can always take a rest and bring a bottle of water with you as well. So while you can follow this along, feel quite relaxed please to take a break if you need to. And um, I'd like you to feel that you're taking part in this class with everybody else again, that we have the Xwell spirit which is just so very special. And just to repeat, we all miss it, and this is our effort at trying to keep it going. Okay, so let's get started with the warm up. And remember, the purpose of the warm up is simply to prepare the body for more vigorous exercise. So at the end of it, you should feel a little bit sweaty, maybe, a bit of a red face, remember that? And um, a little breathless. There's nothing wrong with being breathless. Okay, let's get started. The warm-up starts with just gently tapping the feet and arms forward and to the side. Easy as we go, just nice and gentle. So we're showing this sitting for those who, who want to sit. Then it's followed by just loose swinging of the arms in the upper body. Round and back. That's it. Keep going, nice and gently. You can stand up and hold on to the chair if you want to, or you can stay seated. But this next one is just side steps, stretching the side or the leg away from the body on one side and then on the other, gently. One, two, one, two. And that then is followed by just marching on the spot. And you can swing the arms or you can hold on to the chair if you want to. Gently doing that. Walk away and next then is a side stretch where your one hand's on a hip and the other hand's up in the air above your head and you lean over towards one side. Okay, that's that. Next is a calf stretch where you hold off the chair, put one leg up behind, the knee is straight and shove your tummy forward towards the chair and then change legs. Good. Push your tummy forward. Next is just gentle swing of the hips towards one side and then change direction to the other side. 
Yeah, it lets me go. Next is leaning over towards one side, stretching what we call the adductor area or the groin, which is the upper inner thigh, and then the other side. And when you're doing this, your top half stays up straight. Next, we do a hamstring stretch, where you lean forward, your knee is straight, the leg's in front of you, and the head stays up straight. So, leg in front, knee straight, head up straight, and lean forward. And you feel that stretch in the muscle behind your thigh. So the next is a stretch of your shoulder and your upper chest and your chest, where you put a hand behind the elbow, push across, and then turn your top half. Hand behind the elbow, push it across. This stretches the shoulder area really. And then when you add in the turn, that stretches the chest. And then we just reach nice and high to complete our warm-up, which is nice and short and reach nice and high again and that is the warm-up finished okay next is the strength circuit i just remember the few rules never hold your breath so you never strain like that because your blood pressure goes up and also it puts pressure on surgical wounds so it's always smooth easy breathing like that it doesn't matter really whether you're breathing out or breathing in when you're making the effort people say blow as you go that it may be better to breathe out as you're actually lifting the weight and breathe in as you're letting it down again so just remember you can always take a breather step out if you want to or you can always just retreat and do an easy exercise no matter what I'm doing okay let's go we start with calf stretch so both feet together lift the heels off the ground and back down up two three down two three up two three down two three you're holding on if you want and remember when you're up it takes an effort to hold up and it's the calf muscles that are doing that and the other important thing to remember is that when you're going down you don't just flop down you go down in a controlled way because while you're going down in a controlled way, the calf muscles are also working quite hard. So that's really important. So you see, you can balance on your own or hold on, whichever you wish. So we did 10 repetitions of that, and then we repeated with a difference. This time you go up on two legs and then take one leg off the ground and go back down. Up, right leg away, down. Up, left leg off the ground, down. Up, right leg off the ground, down. And it'd be five on each side, so 10 in total. Up, left leg off the ground, and down. So obviously what this is doing is it's working one calf muscle at a time, which means it's working it a bit harder. And again, see the way you're holding onto the chair for support? Or if you're able to, if you want to try it, you can hold on with one hand, or even if you're brave, try no hands but that's a really really good and important calf muscle strengthening exercise our next strengthening exercise is for the hamstring this is the muscle at the back of your leg your thigh above the knee so what you do is you stand beside a wall and you put your heel back in and push it hard against the wall and as you push it back in you'll feel the muscle above your knee at the back of the leg going hard we do this for a count of three six times push and relax then the other side okay very same you push in with your heel push two three relax push two three relax and to be aware of what muscle is working if you just put your hand on your hamstring there you'll feel as the heel pushes against the wall it goes hard so six of those so six on each side, and just pushing as hard as you're comfortable with.
Yeah. We now repeat this three times in total. Hands on the hips, slide down a little bit. When you're down, press backwards with your pelvis. Press hard with your feet into the floor as if you're digging a hole. Press backwards with your shoulders. Hold it. The thigh muscles should burn a little bit. And just hold that and concentrate. Steady. Don't go down too far with your pelvis, particularly if you've got sore knees. And that's number two done. Yeah. We get ready again for number three. Hands on the hips. Slide. Hold that there. Push backwards. Push down hard with the feet. That's the most important, actually. Backwards with your shoulders. And feel the thighs. And again, hold that steady. A really, really good exercise for your quadriceps muscles. Hold nearly there, nearly there. And up yeah. again. Yeah. The next exercise is sit to stands. We do 10 of these. We're going to show it in three different ways. That's number three, four. So in this version, we're holding on for support to a chair in front. If you're doing this indoors in your kitchen, it could be the kitchen table that you're holding on to, but you're trying to stand up straight as you can and push up. Your heels stay on the ground, so we're not doing the calf muscle this time, but it's a nice strong um, stand up, okay? This version, we're not using the chair in front. Just fold your arms in front, up nice and strong, push up, sit, push, sit push sit push sit that's the second repetition of 10 and then the third set of 10 you can hold on to the side rails or the side arms if you need that little bit of a, a help to get started that's two three and four and five and six and nice strong push up again that's it nearly there so that's three sets of ten and there's three different ways of doing it you don't have to do it the same way each time whichever you're able for well done our next strengthening exercise is for the adductor muscles on the inside of the thigh so start off sitting put your two fists between your knees and squeeze for the count of one two three relax squeeze two three relax so you're squeezing both knees towards each other Squeeze, two, three, relax. Or you can put yeah. a football, if you have one, from the garden between your two knees and just push, two, three, relax. Push, two, three, relax. Again, two, three, relax. Again, two, three, relax. Last time, two, three, relax. Done. Next, we're doing the hip flexor, the muscle that pulls your knee up towards your chest. So what you do is put two hands on one knee and push up against it for the count of three. Up, two, three, and relax. So you're pushing up and you're pushing down with your hand. Up with your knee and down with your hand. Up, two, three, relax. Up, two, three relax up two three relax last time so it's five on each side and then stop next we're doing the pelvic muscles which move your leg out from your body and we're doing five to each side one two three in out two three in so you're holding onto the chair for support you're keeping your knee straight your top half is straight. The leg goes out sideways. Hold two, three, in. Out two, three, in. Again two, three, in. Again two, three, in. Last time each side. Holding onto the chair for support. And that's that. Next is another exercise for the gluteal or pelvic okay. muscles. This time pulling your leg backwards. Back two three back two three and if you put your hand on your bum area your, your gluteal muscle you feel it going hard as you push it back 
back two three down back two three down again two three down again two three down again two three down we're going to do ten of these in total so hold two three down back two three down you're trying to keep your head and chest as straight as you can the natural the natural tendency is to lean forward a little bit but try to stand up straight hold onto the chair and push back nice and hard one two three down one two three down one two three down one two three so here we are pushing out at chest height one and two and three and four and and it's ten repetitions of this okay and remember you always breathe smoothly okay. in and out you do not hold your breath next it's ten times up and across the body one and two and three and four and and so on okay little bend of the knees as you do it and the third exercise is an easy one it's biceps curls yeah one and two and three and four and again nice easy breathing 10 repetitions in total this one gives you a little bit of a breather the next one is a difficult one which is the lateral raises yeah good stuff one and two and three and four and five and six seven well done eight nine ten the next exercise is the upright row two hands in front and bring the weight up to your chest three and four and five and six seven eight nine ten Next exercise is pushing back with one arm at a time, nice and high at the back, and as you come forward, stop at the knee. So it's one arm at a time, and you go back, stop, back, stop, one forward and one back, 10 times. And it's important not to go forward too far because that is too easy, actually. So here we are starting cycle number two. Same again two and three and four and nice and gentle okay easy breathing all the time next exercise is okay. up and across the body two and three and four and five and six and seven and remember if you can't go high just go straight out ahead rather than up over your head that's that one Third exercise, remember, is the biceps curl, an easy one. So off we go. Yeah. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Okay. Next exercise is the difficult one, the lateral raises. Yeah, good stuff. One, and two. And if this one is too difficult, you can just leave it out and maybe do the biceps curl twice instead of doing this or you could just take a breather and skip this one completely and it's 10 repetitions of each of these exercises okay next exercise is the upright row again not too difficult two three four five and six seven eight nine ten and then the last one is the pushing back Nice and high with the arm as you go back and stop at the knee. High, 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 high. Push hard. Nice hard push back. And just to repeat, the weight you use, it might be a, if you have the weights, but you can use um, Okay, well done. Now, while you're taking your breather, just get ready for the next bit, which is the aerobic circuit. In the aerobic circuit, there are several different exercises which you do in a row. Each one 
Well, most of them can be done in a hard way and an easy way. And I'll show you the easy way as we go along for each of the exercises. And again, step out if you need to and step back in again. And we'll be doing this full circuit uh, three times. Okay, let's go. We start with just punching the air and marching on the feet. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Easy on the feet. And then just punching up and across the body. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The feet are not marching. We're taking a nice and easy lower end. Next is just hand to the front and to the side. Front, side, front, side, front, side, front, side, front, side, front, side. Now we're doing a half jack. So one leg out to the side and on the same side the arm goes overhead. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now we're going to reach to one side four times, then to the other side four times, and the feet stay steady. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next is right arm to left knee. Three, four. One, no bouncing. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, it's gentle skipping, just marching on the spot as if you've got a skipping rope in your hand. One and two, three, four. Very gentle, so we're not asking you to jump at all, just as if you're just marching, walking gently. And then it's high knees marching. One and two and three and four, and you're swinging the arms. That's it, nice high with the knees if you're able. Three, four, one. And then we're gonna go punching fast across the body. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If you want to go slow, more slowly, look. One, two, one, two. Let me do some squatting. One, and for the squatting, the head stays up nice and straight, head high. The arms go out in front. We do eight of these in total. That's it. And then we finish off with just two steps sideways and over and back. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we start again. Off we go with the arms, punching the air, and just follow this and punch punch and then across the body bend the knees a little bit one two one two one two one two one two and then forward and side that's it forward side forward side forward side forward side forward side and keep going half jacks that's it, well done. And remember, at any stage, you can just take a little breather and step out, or you can put a chair in front of you if you wish, just to hold on to it. Side stretching four times, chain sides. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right arm to left knee, and off we go. Gently, we're not trying to bounce. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and then onto skipping, gentle skipping. Easy as we go, you're just gently marching, that's it, there's no more to it than that. Keep going with that. And then high knees marching, just as high as you can, whatever you're comfortable with. And look, you're trying to swing the arms nice and vigorously as well. Three, four one two three four and then you're punching across either fast or slow one two one two one two one two the knees are bent or you can go more slowly if you wish one two one two one two and then squatting two we're doing eight of these three four one two 
three and four. And then finally, a couple of steps to either side. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And well done. And here we go for our third circuit. So just follow the same exercises all the way through. Keep at it. Well done. Now, hopefully you're all still standing and with us. Next up is going to be the um, core stability and balance section. Okay, so the core stability, the first thing we'll do is on the chairs. And um, it involves really just trying to keep your tummy muscles nice and tight. And the feeling you should feel is like you're interrupting a pee. That's the feeling you should have while you're doing these exercises. We're showing you two different ways of doing it. One with a weight and one without a weight. Okay, off we go. For the first core exercise, sit on the chair at the front with a gap between your back and the back of the chair. Lift your knees up, lean backwards, but try not to touch the back of the chair. And you're going to hold that for about 20 seconds in total. Hold nice and steady, and you're holding your tummy in nice and tight. If you're able okay. to, you can straighten out the knees like that. It's a little bit harder. But you don't have to do that. Just hold it steady there. And we're nearly done. And then just let the feet down. That's the first exercise. The second one is where you sit in the same position. Bring your hands to your chest. And it's a rowing action. The hands go out and the knees come up. Four. Five. We're trying for 20. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done. And the third exercise is sitting and just reaching down sideways to one or other side. Again, the feet are off the ground. Left and right. Left and right. And you're trying to keep your core, your middle part of your body, steady and nice and strong and tight while you're doing this. You'll wobble a little bit, don't worry about that. And this is our third exercise. And right, left, right, 
left and right. And then we start again with the same three exercises and just follow the instructions. For the balance section, the important thing is to put your balance control system under some pressure. It's based, as you know, on, on inputs from three different areas. One is your eyesight, which keeps you upright. One is your inner ear, which is your balance center, or one of the balance centers. And the third is input from your feet. Now, we can't remove your inner ear. We can remove your eyesight by closing your eyes, and that's one exercise we'll do. And we can put pressure on your balance system feedback from your legs by asking you to stand on one leg. So we're going to do two different types of exercise, one, one on one leg, one on the right, one on the left, and one exercise standing on one leg and closing your eyes. Okay, off we go now. For the first balance exercise, stand on your left leg, right leg off the ground. Up, down, out, two, three, in, two, three. The foot doesn't touch the ground during any of this. In, two, three. Then lean backwards with your leg out in front, hold that, and remember there's a chair beside you at all times, you can hold on to it if needs be, and then the foot goes out behind you, you lean forward, spread the arms, and up you come, and relax down. Doesn't matter if you wobble a bit, then the other leg. So you're now standing on your right, left leg up, and down. Up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, out, two, three, in, out, two, three, in, forward, hold that, your top half is leaning backwards a little bit, then upright, you're still as, your foot is still off the ground, foot out behind, lean forward, spread the arms, stand up straight, and down. Now the next exercise is where you close your eyes. Lift one leg off the ground, hold on tight, then yeah. let the arms away and close your eyes. Five, four, three, two, one. It doesn't matter if you're a bit unsteady, once you're beside a chair where you can steady yourself. The whole point is that this is to improve your balance. Other side, hand away, close the eyes. Five, four, three. And very often you'll notice you're worse on one yeah. side than on the other part of the exercise class before the cool down is another aerobics stint which will offer 10 minutes 10 one minute intervals where you exercise for about um, 50 seconds and then take a few seconds break while you're doing a little relaxation exercise so off we go so here we go for the first of the 10 repetitions of aerobic exercise and this one is just marching on the spot so whatever you're able for, high knees or low knees. And we're going to offer you just two options here for the 10 exercises. One is this, which is just marching on the spot. And the other is walking. 
up and down your garden and if you want to you can run but we're going to just show walking so here we go keep going 30 seconds. 30 seconds is long enough for this and in between the walking episodes or the walking on the spot episodes we'll be doing one little recovery type exercise you'll see that coming up shortly so keep going you're nearly there for your first interval it's just just nearly finished so we're going to then stop and do a recovery exercise which is just gently on the toes punch 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 and then off we go again so this time it's walking up and down the garden at your own pace although we do want you to push it a little bit if you're able so whether it's five yards you have in your garden or 20 yards it doesn't matter very good just go and turn and come back <laughs> 20 and done this can be done ind indoors as well in your kitchen or in the hallway so march out push it nice and hard keep going off we go again turn and you'll find that at the end of each of these intervals or at least we hope you'll find that you just should need a little rest 40 the done. rest is done with a gentle recovery and the recovery exercises we're showing you are different between each um each pair of 50 or each the minute or 50 walking or walking on the spot so the next recovery exercise now is going to be just gently squatting two three and four and then off you go again this one is marching on the spot and we're going to alternate these but um there are slightly more of walking up and down the garden than there are of walking on the spot so let's keep going at this now for the full 10 intervals and then we have the cool down
good. <laughs> 20 done. Very good. <laughs> 20 done.
cool down is a repetition of the warm up. Gentle exercises, nothing strenuous, just to bring the heart rate back down nice and easy. So enjoy this bit. The cool down begins with just easy marching. Nice and gentle. Just easing down now, then into some gentle side swings over and back and breathing smoothly as you go no major strain here then right arm to left knee at a nice relaxed pace no bouncing nice and easy this is all now about just settling down after the class back into a little bit of marching gentle heel digs getting ready for the next little bit so then we move on to side steps, over and back, gentle, two steps sideways, to the right and to the left, over and back, little gentle bend of the knees at either side. Then hands on your hips, gentle hip swings, this is starting our stretching now, and change in direction. Nice and gentle. Moving on then to separate the legs a little bit and lean over to one side, keeping your top half up straight. That's what's called the adductor stretch. And then over to the other side. So this is stretching the upper inner thigh. And then one leg in front for the hamstring stretch. The knee is straight, head up straight. Lean forward gently. You feel the stretch above your knee at the back. And then change leg. Head up straight and gently leaning forward. Calf stretch, one leg goes behind. Try to keep the knee straight. Heel is on the ground at the back. Push your tummy forward. And you feel that stretch below the knee at the back of the leg behind you. Again, pushing forward at your pelvis. Okay. The next stretch, if you want to try it, is the quad stretch. Yeah. So just hold on to something, reach down, grab your sock or your shoe, and pull the heel up behind you, keeping the two knees close together if you can. So the idea here is you feel the stretch okay. in the front of the thigh, and try not yeah. to let the knee drift out sideways. Then loose, easy swings. This just loosens out the top half. Then a side stretch, reaching up and over. First to one side and then to the other. We're nearly there now. And now take keeping your arm at shoulder height. Put one hand behind one elbow, so your right arm is being stretched. This is stretching your shoulder and your chest. Push it across and then turn your top half to follow it around. Same with the other side. First of all, push the elbow across and stay looking forward. That stretches the shoulder area. And then when you turn, it stretches the upper chest. And now the last thing is big reach up into the sky. Nice and high. And remember all of this stretching or some of it can be done sitting down if you want. And up you go again. And that's it. So there, that's our class. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you stick with us. And again, anybody who wants to get more details about the whole programme, go to www.xwell.ie. All the best.